Hey guys, it's Sam from Shower Apps and today we're looking at the new Age of Empires game from Microsoft. Just like a lot of strategy games on mobile phones or tablets, this one is also free, but asks you to pay money if you want to speed up the training time of your units or speed up the building process. And as you can see from the video I'm showing right now, this is my castle and what you do in this game is you start off with the first stage castle and I'm at age 6 right now which Age of Empires calls keep and you a couple of resource buildings and basically the goal is to advance throughout the ages and protect your keep and you'll do that by deploying various traps, troops, patrol, po patrol points and as well as towers and walls. One of the mm, fun things you can do with Age of Empires is once you progress throughout the ages, the number of walls you can build increases as well as various towers and other structures unlocked. For example, as you can see, there is a limited number of structures you, ha you have and you can build. So if you go to another age, as you can see level 9 requires almost 1 million stone and you can get musket tower. So, there are two ways you can progress towards this game. First one is collecting resources from your resource buildings. And on a side note, Microsoft will be releasing a 1.1 patch later today, which will improve the economy and will also allow you to increase the value of your various farm buildings. Another way is much more fun which is battles. So each civilization has its own hero and fortunately you can also unlock other civilization heroes with pennies which you can get by destroying our castle research buildings and there are also special units called uh, civilization units and as you can see Britain has got these awesome longbowmen and I have unlocked all of them these two are my favorites, hence I advance them to level 2 and you can advance a lot of them to, let's see, to level 3 I'll have to find around 400,000 wood and 4,000 points so without further ado let's just go right to the most fun part of the game which is battles I'll select this hero which will allow me to disable a uh, two towers and one of the main benefits of this game is that you can also complete pretty much everything. I mean, everything without paying a, a cent. So unlike like game loved games, which tend you to even at later difficulties, pretty much you are forced to pay money. For example, if you play the latest dungeon the dungeon game uh, on later levels, you're pretty much screwed if you don't pay money. So we are attacking this castle right now and let's just destroy the research buildings first and as you can see it has like 250 pennies and as I am attacking these buildings I am taking his valuable resources These are some troops, oh these ones do this splash damage hence you have to pretty much destroy them first That's what I like to do at least and let's just do this there's also a hero as I said which will allow me to disable this unit this structure sorry and yep it's pretty much done right now and you can let's just destroy this one too as you can see there are also some traps and this one is gone let's just... if you don't control your units the AI will take over everything. Sometimes it can be good, sometimes it's annoying because he, sometimes they choose to attack like weird structures. And there are two ways you can win this game. First one is by uh, destroying 50, over 50% 50 of buildings. As you can see, I have destroyed 24, 27 right now. Another one is just to destroy the keep. And I think. Uh, we'll be soon done with this battle 
so if you destroy over 50% of buildings you'll get one star if you destroy and uh, keep you'll get a second star and if you destroy 100% of buildings including towers you'll get a third star and if you destroy keep you'll also get to have a chest which may give you rewards like gold wood uh, and so on and there is really no reason why you have to destroy like 100% because if you destroy everything you will get 16 crowns and the crowns are pretty much useless unless you are in alliance they don't serve any real value other than global rankings and so it, it doesn't really matter unless you are in an alliance and one thing about alliances is that if you don't get enough crowns it uh, will kick you out because what's the point of keeping the, doing the game if you don't raise the ranking so as you can see i was just trapped and uh, my whole units are now dead so i lost seven crowns but i gained valuable resources if you don't deploy all units they will be able to attack in the other game however if you do deploy and hit the white flag button uh, they will be eliminated and you won't be able to play with them you'll have to uh, get new ones and as you can see i have quite a few units and it will take around 40 minutes to train all of them there is also a sort of a single player mode which is historical challenge as you can see i've completed all of them and basically it gives you a, like one time resource boost if you complete the game so if you open with and you can replay the game so if you win the second time it won't give you the resources so let's just test it for the sake of testing you can find a lot of strategies on how to do this test if you run i found that by experimenting a few tries it's all takes to beat the game so let's just do that there's also a replay mode which will allow you to watch how your competitors raided your castle and whether or not they succeeded so if you go there as you can see let's just play this record and we'll see how my castle defenses perform also one thing to note is that if you are upgrading towers or your keep that building won't be able to attack until the upgrade is finished so you'll have to decide when and how you want to upgrade it so these are doing splash damage and this one is his hero which is special ability to make my units run away and let's just see we can also speed up the whole process so we are just about to be done with it so if this one is alliance building which will give you forces if you are in a guild so it is destroying my resource buildings and stealing wood, food and stone and uh, yeah he's still lost but stole about 5,000 food from me so I'll have to defeat his castle now and one cool thing you can do is just hit this button and you are viewing his castle so let's just see how his defense is planned okay so the structure is pretty similar to mine actually and too bad it doesn't show you like what resources you can take from him and how much penance he has but yeah i'll probably raid him really soon once my army finishes training so that's pretty much it as far as the game goes it's pretty addicting and once you at least in the early stages because the building time is like two minutes or 30 seconds or one hour and as you progress it can take like four or five days to upgrade a building for example if you want to upgrade army camp it will take like one day and 12 hours and this one will take like all five days and six hours which is ridiculous so this is how they get you 
and by the I mean Microsoft. But you are not really forced to be so you can always just sit back, wait and play our games or do whatever you want. These are technology uh, research buildings you can upgrade and I'll do that right now. And the wood is the most valuable resource in this game and why? Because you use wood to advance to another age and if you want to advance to another age you'll have to get a lot of wood. So for example I'll have to upgrade this lumber yard which will cost me 325,000 uh, food and to get that I'll have to upgrade my silos first and uh, which will make me wait one day and I'll probably have to build another one so basically it's if you want to do that you'll have to upgrade pre other buildings first and so on there's also there are also achievements which are pretty awesome and objectives which will give you real gold which you can spend in game and speed up the building process so it's always nice to hear that familiar xbox sound and once you complete a certain achievement and that's pretty much it as far as the game goes uh, i definitely recommend it because you don't have to spend real money if you don't want to and it's really pretty addicting especially once you join the clan and you try to beat like the number one ranking player i'm currently at uh in this 12th place which is too bad since i was at seven like not so long time ago because I had like over 300 crowns but you have to decide if you want to sacrifice your crowns and just go for resources or you want to go for crowns and don't destroy all the resource building assuming you don't have a strong garden so it's up for you to decide and once you progress throughout the ages you will unlock additional units and pretty much every age gives you like certain abilities and more strategies you can apply so it's always uh, a really fun way to spend your time so that's pretty much it and thanks for watching this review this is sam from shower apps and i'll see you soon